RavenDB is a cross-platform, document-oriented, NoSQL database server with a range of features that would make any enterprise-level developer or admin giddy. RavenDB was designed especially for the .NET Windows platform, but getting it up and running on a Linux server is an outstanding pathway to success. And like many NoSQL databases, RavenDB includes a well-designed GUI that makes working with those massive collections of data much easier than you might think. But before you can work with the data, you must first create a database to hold said data. Fortunately, RavenDB makes this easy as well. Let me show you how. Log into your RavenDB dashboard and click Databases. In the resulting window, click New Database. Give your new database a name that is any combination, less than 128 characters, of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and can contain the special characters dash, underscore, and period. Once you have your name set, you can configure the replication factor. If this is a standalone RavenDB server, your replication factor will be 1. If you have a cluster, you can configure this number up to equal the amount of nodes in the cluster. So, if you have three nodes in your RavenDB cluster, you can have a replication factor between 1 and 3. Since I'm demonstrating with a single node deployment, my replication factor is 1. I'll name my database Tech Republic and then click Create. The database will be created almost immediately and return you to the databases window. Click on the database name, and you can then begin to create documents by clicking New Document. One of the best ways to understand how to work with RavenDB documents is to create an empty database and then add sample data. To do that, create your empty database and then click the gear icon. Under Tasks, click Create Sample Data. This will populate the database with a good size collection of sample documents that you can easily learn from. Given the scale at which RavenDB can serve, it's a surprisingly easy NoSQL database. Give it a go and see if you don't find yourself wanting to migrate to this option. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.